Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can fix your PC, Windows PC, not connecting or detecting your iPhone. For me, it worked for a few days, and after that, it just didn't uh, detect my iPhone anymore, even though it's charging. So, if your iPhone is not even charging, then it's probably an issue on your cable. But if it's charging and it's just not connecting, then it's a driver issue. And I just want to tell you how you can. I'll show you how you can fix that. It's pretty easy. So you probably stumbled across some videos who wasted your time that says you have to remove like your Bluetooth device and then connect it again or some shit like that, but that's probably not working. So I don't want to talk too much and just show you what you can do and how to do it. So, so just like follow my instructions. Download the iTunes setup from the web. Don't download the Microsoft version, download the iTunes setup and open it with 7-zip. Please open it with 7-zip, because Win WinRA is not working with this method. Then find the Apple mobile device support file and extract it. Open this one with 7-zip again. And now find the device that I will show on the screen. Find like the files that I will show on the screen. Sorry, my English is bad. And copy those four files or extract them to your like folder or to your PC. Uh, what you will have to do now with these files is you will have to copy them or cut them to the following path. I will show them in the video. Program files, common files, Apple mobile de device support and drivers. So paste it in here. If you don't have a drivers folder, I didn't have it, had it at first. I didn't have a drivers folder, so you, you can just create one and then put the files in there. That's no problem. As you can see, I already have them, but I will just like redo the process. And as soon as your folder looks like this, you can um, open the device manager. So find the device manager on your Windows PC. Also, um, connect your iPhone now to your PC. If you haven't already, connect it to your PC now so you can find it. Have a look for the USB symbol ports, so try to find your iPhone. It will probably don't it will probably be called like iPhone, iPad or some shit like that. It will not be called like Apple mobile shit. So if you can find it, you can click on view and show hidden devices. Now when you're done and found it, right click on your iPhone device and click on update driver. Also sorry for my bad English, it's, I know it's bad, but uh, yeah, it's not my first language. Now click on Browse My Computer for Drivers, click on Let Me Pick from a list. Uh, select Apple Mobile Device USB Driver, click on uh, New from the disk or View Disk, and now find the files that you just put in your Drivers uh, folder. So on Program Files, Common Files, Apple Mobile Device Support Drivers, find this file and click on Open, click on OK, hit Next. And now your device will be installing the drivers. So after that, you will have to restart your PC. Just restart your PC. And after that, you will have the prompt on your iPhone to, uh, yes, accept the source. So click on accept or OK. And that's it.